What do you think we're gonna do today? I hope we get to make a pie. I, I, don't, I just wanna eat it. I just wanna eat and taste and sample. Okay, so Amanda's store should be right yeah. up here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, it is. is adorable. So I have to get a picture. Oh my gosh, I can smell it. Can you smell that? It smells like pie. I'm Sarah Stone Smith. And I'm Courtney Goolsby. In this series, we highlight the latest movers, shakers, and tastemakers in the South. Join us as we say it Southern with Amanda Wilbanks of Southern Baked Pie Company. Amanda, thank you so much for having us to your Vinings location of Southern Baked Pie Company. Thank y'all for being here. I'm so excited. Oh, it smells amazing in here. It smells so I good. I want to dig in. <laughs> but first of all, why pie? I just started baking out of the house for fun. My mother-in-law came into town and said, let's make Alex's favorite pie, my husband. So we made a buttermilk pie. And after she left town, I just kept making the pies for fun. So who did you start selling to? I started selling pies at a festival in my hometown in Gainesville, Georgia. After that first festival, we were like, oh my goodness, we've made a little bit of money. And so I knew I had to get another festival lined up. So I started calling this festival called Gold Rush. And I called Monday and Tuesday and no one answered. I Facebook, I Instagram, no one responded. So by Wednesday, I just called 911. And I said, 911. 911, she called We 9 -1 -1. have an emergency. I did, I said, I really need to speak to the sheriff. And he was so nice and I said, look, I just need to know who's putting on this festival. He said, well, I'll give you the director and the coordinator. So by Wednesday night, I had a booth and sold $4 slices and sold close to $4,000 worth of pie in a weekend. Oh system. my gosh. So did you have another job at this point? I was doing marketing on the side for small businesses. I was kind of floundering and not doing so well. And this was what kind of gave me an opportunity and I felt like it was fight or flight. But you kind of infused your marketing into this business because you have four locations now. The packaging yeah. is beautiful. Lord knows we love the pie. I just tried to take what I had learned about marketing and really tried to make the product warm and comforting and I designed all the packaging and wanted it to feel like when you open it up you would be proud to eat it yourself or proud to give it to friends and family. But it's not just sweet pies, it's savory pies too. Yes. And Amanda, I have to tell you, I am it's obsessed strange. with your chicken pot pie. Oh, I it love it. It's so good. And Thank you. I, I think it's the crust. That's the key ingredient. You've got to have a good crust when you're making a pie. I figured, you know what, let's let everybody try and make it. So we took and Praise God. God. Yes. Yes, this makes it so simple. Are you going to show us how to make this? Yes. What we're going to start with today is you add two sticks of butter and a little bit of water, and you're good to go. You'll continue to work it until it starts to form together into a ball and it gets a little bit sticky. And you're just going to want to take it and form it into a round disc, just like this. You would want to cover this with plastic wrap and chill it for an hour in the fridge. Allow the dough to rest. That's okay, a key okay. part of it. I've already chilled it for us and I've laid out a crust that we're going to lattice right here. But first, we need to cut up our strawberries for our fruit pie. Okay, I've already started over here. A lot of our fruits come locally from here in Georgia. What's your most popular ingredient? Is it Georgia peaches? You know, I would say Georgia peaches in the summer, but then our caramel pecan pie is our oh. number one seller. So how do you make the strawberries so sweet? Lots of sugar. Ah, sugar. Sugar is the key ingredient. Sugar and butter. Sugar and butter. I what else it. could you need? You know. That's what makes it delicious. You know that's right. Our pies are super simple. It's just a couple of ingredients. So Sarah, if you want to take and dump it into the pie shell right here, fill that pie shell up. So what we're going to do here is we're going to learn to lattice a pie. Do y'all think we can do it? <laughs> oh, no, I can't. So I would just set that on top. You want them about a half inch to an inch wide. And so you can take it and you're just gonna put your strips onto the top of the pie. You wanna start with pulling back the first and the third and take your dough strip, lay it across, and then you pull the strips back on top. And now you're gonna pull back the second and the fourth and add another piece of lattice. Gotcha. And leaning it back over and that's how you get that crisscross weave that looks so pretty. I think that looks beautiful, ladies. Right. I do. Put it in the oven. Let's put it in the yes. oven. Off to the oven we go. Y'all, 
Y'all, look at all that oh goo and yumminess. We did it. That's yes, y'all did cute. amazing. Yes. Amazing. Cheers, Woo. ladies. Woo. Yes. Love it. This is divine. Oh my goodness. And it's so good, Amanda. I can see now why this is on Gail's list of favorite things. That made my whole entire year. Just to see the pies grace the face of an O Magazine, I was over the moon. When I first started Southern Bank, I said, I want to be in Oprah's Magazine, and I want to be in Williams-Sonoma. I think you've got to put your, your dreams out there put in the world. There. you got to say it. Yep. And then it really does come true. You work to make it happen. So, so what is next for Southern Bank? Oh my goodness. You know, I want to do another book. And one day I would love to have a cooking show. My love and passion is to share my love of cooking with others. We have had so much fun being here today. Thank y'all so much for coming. We can't wait for the world to get your pies. You can get them online. We ship them right to your mm -hmm. doorstep. We're so excited to meet up with Mandy kellogg Rye. She's the founder and creative director of Waiting on Martha, where her steadfast style is infused throughout the tightly curated mix of designer furnishings, homeware, and gift. Every piece is so different, it's hard to choose. That's the whole problem when everyone's coming in here. Yeah, how do you choose? Um, I mean, <laughs> like, really? After 10 years, I kind of feel like I've gotten pretty good at buying and understanding my customer, but I'm a born shopper and I love it. Uh -huh. It's my favorite thing to do.